The Washington Capitals defeat the Boston Bruins tonight 2-1 to one to tie their playoff series at 2. That and more coming up on the Rhino Heron Network. Tonight's show is sponsored by the new 2012 Toyota Camry Hybrid. It's ready. Are you? We guys see the yellow bar pop up that says ads by Google. Please click on one of the ads. It sends money to the account. We appreciate all your support. Playoff rookie Braden Holpe followed up a shaky outing with a superb one tonight by making 44 saves. And Alexander Simmons scored the go-ahead goal, leading the Washington Capitals to a 2-1 victory over the reigning Stanley Cup champion Boston Bruins. Marcus Johansson put the puck past Tim Thomas less than one and a half minutes after the opening faceoff, but Boston's Rich Peverlay tied it later in the first period. Semin put Washington ahead for good with 117 left in the second on a power play goal, his second score of the series. The best of seven Eastern Conference series shifts back to Boston for Game 5 on Saturday, and Game 6 will be in Washington on Sunday. Washington was undefeated during the regular season, when leading after two periods, and Holtby continued that trend. After things got rowdy in Game 3, the Capitals did it with discipline. The, ho the hosts were called for only one penalty. It's been a tight series all the way, with ne neither team leading by more than one goal in any at any moment. Semin decided things Thursday, tonight, by zipping a wrister from the left circle past Thomas after Ovechkin and Keith Coyne set it up with assists. They came on Washington's third power play of the game. The Bruins had zero extra skater chances through the first two periods, as the Capitals played precisely the type of quiet hockey that their coach Dale Hunter said he really wanted to see out of them. Washington wasn't called for a penalty. There was just under 10 minutes left in the third period, when forward Mike Newble, playing because Nicholas Backstrom was suspended, was sent off for holding. But the Capitals killed that off without allowing any shots, making the Bruins' power play 0 for 12 this season. Excuse me, this series. Backstrom is Washington's top playmaker, the player who scored the winning goal in Game 2, and his absence showed at times. The Capitals' um, power play usually couldn't muster any shots, which he usually runs. Backstrom was lost for one game after a cross-check to Peverly's face at the end of Game 3 on Monday drew a match penalty. There were all sorts of verbal jousting during the series off days, Tuesday and Wednesday. Hunter himself, no stranger to mixing things up during his playing days, accused the Bruins of targeting the head of Backstrom, who missed 40 games early in the regular season because of a concussion. Hunter said he thought Backstrom was only trying to protect himself against Peverly after taking repeated shots to the head from Boston. Bruins coach Claude Julien responded that such claims were ludicrous and ridiculous. Would have been a plenty of defense, little offense, relatively quiet series early. A total of four goals were scored in games one and two, turned downright feisty and more wide open in Boston's 4-3 victory in game three. So game four reverted to the first style, thanks in large part to Holtby. The Canadian is only 22, 16 years younger than Tim Thomas, who earned last season's Conn Smythe and Vezina trophies, and has made a grand total of 18 regular season starts in his career. But Holtby is playing in his first NHL postseason because of injuries to Washington's top two goalies, Thomas Volkun and Michael Newverth. And the kid has looked like a grizzled veteran for all but Game 3. He stopped 72 of 74 shots in Games 1 and 2, and was terrific again in Game 4. Over the span of about a minute early in the second period, Holtby made three reflex saves to thwart Bruins' chances. Washington needed all of 82 seconds to take the lead, thanks to the top tweak line of Ovechkin, Johansson, and Brooks Leitch. Ovechkin and Bruins defenseman Andrew Ferentz got tangled up by the boards near mid-ice and both tumbled down, creating some space for Leitch to, co to collect the puck and rush um, unencumbered into the offensive zone. He bided his time for sliding the puck back over to Johansson for a high one-timer past Tim Thomas. Not only was that the Capitals' first shot of the game, it was the host's only shot for the first 12 and a half minutes, making Thomas's save percentage 0.0, .0 for a while. Later, Prevalet broke in alone on the right wing, Deke defenseman John Erskine into a belly flop and scored through Holtzby's legs at the 13-12 mark of the first period. That made it 1-1 and meant that five of Boston's series seven goals to the point were scored with Capitals defenseman Dennis Waldeman on the ice. Uh, you know, Wideman there, wide man, whichever. But Holtzby wouldn't let another puck get by. So Holtzby's save total was the highest for a Capitals goalie all season. Congratulations to him. The Bruins outshot the Capitals 14-3 in the first period and 45-21 for the game. Boston had won six consecutive road games. Newble, who last appeared in the game on April 5th, played on a line with Joel Ward and a coin. Washington forward Cody Ekine was assigned to Hershey of the AHL before the game. He had four goals and four assists in 29 games for the Capitals this season, making his NHL debut on November 1st. So congratulations to the Capitals. Um, they have evened up the series, and I can't wait to, to watch again. I mean, I'm, I'm rooting for the Bruins. I think the Bruins are going to you know, at least make the Stanley Cup Finals for the second year in a row. But they have to get by the, the Caps first, and the Caps are their biggest test. Because I think next series, they'll probably be paying the Flyers, so I think we'll take a, take on the Penguins. We'll beat the Penguins, but Rizgalov has been such a disaster for them that I don't think they have a chance. 
So um, remember to click those ads, send more money to me, and everything would be great. Enjoy your night, guys.